welcome to my channel. So today is, well it's actually Wednesday the 16th of May, um, but this will probably go out on the Thursday, uh, 17th of May. Um, no child here with me today, I have a cat instead, there's little Betty there. Um, so I thought I would just come on and have a little chit chat about my, when, um, my Friday weighing coming up. Um, I'm out Friday, so I will be going to weigh in. Um, I'm going to go to the earlier session and literally just go get weighed. Oh, uh, sorry, weigh in pay basically. Because <laughs> um, then I'm going straight out um, to meet a friend with her little boy and Ralph. So yeah, I thought I would do a, like kind of like um, weigh day reflection of the week just gone, even though. I'm a day earlier um, and also um, my May goals reflection um, just something that I've sort of keep coming back to um, so first of all my weigh-in so I, I said both in my video the other day about the chit chat about the SAS log which was two videos ago um, which I posted up um, which would have been which I posted up Tuesday which most people saw on Wednesday and about how I kind of had this revelation that it's staring me right in front of me. I'm snacking way too much. So literally since Friday, I have not snacked. Apart from either a mid-morning snack or an afternoon snack. And they haven't been every day that I've been having a snack. Um, if I don't have a morning one, I'll tend to have one in the afternoon. Um, or I'll have also another one like in the evening which is like usually the quark uh, which might have the quark with the I don't know quark quark whatever you call it um grape nut cheesecake or I might just have it with some frozen fruit but I have totally been on it um if I have already had a snack in the morning and a snack in the afternoon I won't probably have a, some I hope I haven't been having anything else again later um on Monday I had my dinner earlier and then I ate my quark later on in the evening. I didn't have the cheesecake. I just didn't find it filling enough, so I was still actually quite hungry. So I did have some more quark, but I, maybe I should have just waited. Maybe I didn't need it. Um, maybe because I'm just so used to having my dinner later rather than at half five. Um, even like when I'm at home, like yesterday, we had our dinner slightly earlier, but we still it was still like seven o'clock, which is quite early for us. Um, so yeah. But I have like not picked at all. Um, I have when we get the kids dinner ready. I haven't been having, I haven't been picking at anything. Even if it's a free food, I haven't been doing that. If I need to have a snack, it's try, I've tried to have speed in the day. So like if I've had a snack mid afternoon, mid morning, it will be like a pear or mid afternoon a pear. I tried, to, I tried to have that. Um, otherwise, it's a, a packet of. I've had that lentil curls, but it is shortly after I've had my lunch where I should have just had them with my lunch and send them, which I did. Um, so that's the only time. But otherwise, yeah, I've totally been on it. I've completely hung. I cannot do it anymore. I don't binge anymore. I can't remember I said the last time I've actually binged. I haven't ke eaten the kids' leftovers for a long time, unless it's a speed food. And even then, I have not done that at all this week. Everything has gone straight in the bin. Um... I don't, and I haven't picked. That's the thing that hit me this week. I haven't picked at all on any free food, or any speed food, unless it's an actual snack. And I'm only having one, like piece, one piece of fruit or something I'm sinning or something, if that makes sense. I hope it does. Um, yeah, so what do I want for this week? I never set targets. But in my head on Friday, I want to lose this half a pound that I've gained. And I wouldn't want to lose more. I have been so food optimizing. Like I have had so much speed. <sighs> I've exercised. So last Friday I did a run in the morning. And I can't even say that that affected my weigh-in result because the last time I had a good loss, I've gone for a run as well. So that's definitely nothing to do with it. Um, and I had quite a good loss that one. Um, 
I don't think I did anything on Saturday. No, I don't usually do stuff on Saturday because I work all day. Um, but Sunday I did a 10K race. I didn't then exercise on Monday because I went to my mum's. I didn't have time. I didn't could get to group, um, to body comp boot camp. That's the one. Uh, Tuesday I was going to go for a run last night. I just couldn't be bothered. I had so much work to do. I'm making some decisions about my business and I'm trying to get myself up to speed on it. So I've made some big, sort of kind of life changing decisions really. Um, maybe I'll talk about that another time, but um, yeah. So that's kind of been quite stressful. So I wanted to get some stuff done. Um, and a run would have been amazing because I really could have done with it, but yeah. I knew I was going to boot camp today. So I went this morning and I'll be going again tomorrow. So yeah, exercise wise, I've totally been on it. I've been doing some hooping again today. I kind of had like, a week off nearly um and i kind of missed it i feel a little bit squidgy around the uh, around my love handle bit so yeah i'm back on hooping um and i did like 10 minutes this morning just to sort of get me going back into it um so i will do some more hooping again tomorrow after my workout um yes yeah, so i have been totally on it and if i don't lose something I don't know what's the matter like I don't know what's the matter I mean I'll carry on but I'll be so peeved shall we say so yes which then comes me on to my May goals so I'm not going to look at all my May goals because you can find my May goals video and if I remember I'll try and tag it below but it is there this is right at the beginning of May you can't miss it um I started the tag off and I'm going to do it again this month because I have found it really motivational not that it's actually done anything. So my first interim target was to, what was it to do? To get my two stone award. So I'm kind of, lit, where am I? I'm 20, I've got three pounds to get. I had two and a half, now it's three <laughs> after last week. So I've got further away from it. I then also want to get like where I'm a stone more, which would be another two and a half pounds on top of that. So it's five and a half pounds I've got to lose to get to a stone. I don't, if I'm looking at my history of my weight loss journey, then I'm not gonna get that. That's fine, these are goals. They're achievable goals, but this time it might not be achievable. That doesn't mean I have to hit them, if you know what I mean. So my, I really want to get to the two, get my two stone award this month. That's so that's my one of my goals. Those, so those are the two things of my goals. I'm not going to said I'm not going to go through the others because that was more about clothes fitting. My non-scale victories will reflect that. So some jeans that I tried on that I've had for quite a few months now since February. I bought some of these mom jeans from M&S. Um, they're quite in fashion. Hopefully, luckily, they're still in fashion because <laughs> it's been a while since I bought them. <laughs> um, and I think they're being in fashion for a little while now. They did up the other week. They now do comfortably up. Still a little bit tight, but hopefully, if I carry on hooping and do this exercise, it'll be fine. So, yeah, I, that is a non scale victory. I've also gone, had to change my bras because. Yeah, they're too they're too big. Um, so I've gone from a 38 to a 36. However, my cup size has got bigger because even though my cup boobs haven't got bigger, um, the cup my boobs have stayed the same. It's just my back that's got smaller. So the, obviously then that ups the cup size. I think anyway. Yeah, the cup size. So I need to get measured properly. Um, but I want to I want to try and find a. You don't get any underwear shops anymore. I know Marks and Spencers do it, but I always get mixed, mixed things about Marks and Spencers. And I've never, I've had, one time I've had a really good experience being measured and then the next time it wasn't so great. Um, as I used to go to this little shop where I worked in, um, which is in, which was in Hawley, which is where I'm originally from. And there was a lovely little lingerie shop in there and they were like, been there for donkey's years. And unfortunately they closed down. I used to work there as well. I lived and worked. In the town but yeah unfortunately they closed down so I can't go there um, so yeah I can't get anything around here so 
I want to try and find one of those. I might have to go further afield and get measured properly. There is a Rigby and Pella actually in Guildford. I think it's still there. So they're like amazing. Sorry about the bra talk, guys. <laughs> I know some men might find that uncomfortable. But um, yeah, it is what it is. It's life. Um, so yeah, that's a non-scale victory for me. Same with my sports bra. So it's costing me an absolute fortune. Money that I don't really have to spend. But I, it's essential. It's affects my posture and everything. Um so yeah that what else i've also bought some black i'll show them to you because i'm wearing them now so these black jeans i got some in m s a little while ago size 14 these are a size 12 because the 14 just are too baggy on the legs and where i've lost weight around my waist um they now fit comfortably um i do have to hoist them up though that's better um, so yeah, still a little bit of squidginess. As I said, that has got squidgy. It wasn't like that the other day. <sighs> Whether it's water retention, I don't know. Um, yeah, so those are my non-scale victories. Um, just my clothes, really. And I feel good. Apart from, I've really noticed not doing hooping. So if you're doing hooping and you've mastered it, stick with it because it does work and just carry it on. Um, don't stop because then you've got to start again which is what i've had to do so yeah i'm back on it this week um yeah i don't really know what else i can do i have been a bit i'm quite a positive person but it's been quite frustrating and do you know what was really frustrating last friday um this woman went around france and obviously she was doing lots of walking and everything but she was drinking wine eating cheese bread and everything like that and lost four pounds she hadn't been there for three weeks but she still lost four pounds but i mean great great for her then there was another lady who'd lost two and a half pounds oh i don't know why i didn't have a bigger loss but i suppose it's the bank holiday weekend with all the all the food and everything and the wine i did drink like a bottle of red wine two nights in a row and i'm like i didn't touch one drop <laughs> and then there was someone else oh, oh well we went a bit off plan she still lost three pounds it was her second second week she still lost three pounds which you know great these are these are people that start fairly at the beginning so they they might have more weight to lose than me some of them i've a couple of them that were the, the, there was i mean there was more than the three of these i'm talking about there was others that were saying it because of the bank holiday weekend and this one was like, oh yeah, well, I did get a bit naughty at the weekend. I had a McDonald's and I had, a, then I had a kebab and I'm like, <laughs> okay. I mean, it's like, I don't actually like that, that kind of food anyway, but <laughs> it was just a bit, it's just a bit disheartening. Um, and then when I came to my turn, the lady was talking to me and my consultant was like, oh, you know, what do you think it was? And I was like, I've been completely on it. Okay. I went over slightly with my prosecco but it was probably like three or four since i clawed that back like i didn't have any i was well under the whole sinnage for that overall week not that i count it like that but that's the way i kind of look at it when i kind of go off plan but otherwise i've been on it 100 percent. and the the woman who'd drunk two bottles of red over the weekend was like oh well it was the bank holiday weekend i was like no i was on it 100 percent. like apart from that and it yeah and I had a half a pound gain. So I don't know what's the matter. I can't blame it on the heat. The, I'm hoping it's the snacking and it will reflect this week. I haven't had any beef because I know I have an intolerance to it. So I'm seeing if that maybe might be the reason. If I have a weight loss this week, which is I'm okay. Like if it's a pound or a pound and a half, I will be ecstatic. Um, if it's more, I mean brilliant. But if it's a pound or a pound and a half, I will be ecstatic and i will take that i mean it will be the snacks snacking anyway because that is going the snacking the snacking's going apart from my allocated snacks but it's if it's i'm going to introduce beef again next week and see i'm going to get my beef on and i'm going to have one meal with beef like a bolognese or a chili con carne i'll just have one meal that'll be it or maybe one meal and one lunch or something but that will be it I don't eat a lot of beef anyway, so it will be just probably with the one meal. And I will see if that will make a difference. I'm going to make some burgers, but I'm making some turkey burgers. Um, 
with like the less than five percent turkey mince um and then i'll just make a chili con carne or bolognese with the beef mince i've got so that is my plan for the week so we will see what the scales say on friday as i said i am having a quick weight loss and i will probably just i might even try and do another live video and then um i quickly get it up on here um, but I will see if not I might have to wait till Friday evening and I'll get my video out then um, But I will probably go live on Instagram on Friday night um, so if anyone fancies joining me come along and Yeah, I will probably talk about it over there then but I will get a quick video up on YouTube so you can see how I get on for those of you that aren't don't follow me on Instagram I've waffled I don't really know what this video is about but I had to I had to get it out there and I wanted to have a little chat and as I do each week reflect on my past week and how that is affecting my mate goals um, I hate putting it down on things because that's I can't but I get down it's life we get down and it's just frustrating when you try hard and others don't try as hard and they're more successful and you shouldn't compare yourself to others I know that I know that believe me I don't um, but it's frustrating when you hear it um, and I know some people their lead their leader when they talk about stuff like that they kind of shut them down I don't know how I feel I mean I don't know I don't know how I'd feel about being shut down because I'd had a McDonald's or anything um, and bragged about I don't know anyway I'm waffling Take care everyone, I shall speak to you soon and I will let you know Friday, either straight after weigh in or be later on in the evening on YouTube what my results are. But um, I hope you all have a fab week, I hope you have some brilliant results this week and good luck to any of you, those, uh, any of, those of you that are weighing in the rest of the week. Um, take care everyone and also want to say hello to all my new subscribers, wow. Um, yeah that's amazing so thank you everyone that's followed give us a follow i really appreciate all the following and love and everything like that so um and if you are a new subscriber let me know what you enjoy watching and i will try my best but i'm going to get some recipes up because some lots of people have been asking me about some more recipes and i've got a really good recipe i'm going to try um probably going to try and get that done over the weekend if not uh, the beginning of next week um but more would be about that Take care. Speak to you soon. Bye.